All right, the project at hand right now is with this Mitsubishi SUV. The problem it has is it had a fuel line rust out and it's it runs, but it leaks way too much gas to drive. So this needs to be fixed before this can be used. So I'll show you where it's leaking. Right in here. It only leaks when it runs. Right about there. Well, you can see it. That's what it does. All right, let's put that up on the lift and fix it. It leaks a lot more when I actually start it. Just gonna pull the uh, ground terminal off here since we're working on an electric fuel pump. All right, I've been looking at this thing for a few minutes now. You can see the rusted out line right there. There's that little wet spot on it. Now to fix this right, usually when I got an issue with a sending unit like that on a gas tank, the easiest way to deal with it is just to cut a hole in the floor right above it. Here, actually somebody did that to this truck right here. You can see here this, you know, maybe if that needed a fuel pump or a line rusted out or something, it's super easy to get to now because there's, you know, I'm going to put this plate in here for an access panel. But that's the way to fix a fuel tank and really all cars should come from the factory with a access panel over the fuel tank sending unit and it looks like this thing here it's actually they use much better lines on it because there's a looks like they're plastic or whatever they're made out of they're not rusting out for no reason but just the, the placement of this thing it doesn't look like this is a good candidate to do that so to fix this properly the gas tank just has to come down one thing that's standing out that's really nice about this car is it has a fuel tank drain plug a lot of vehicles don't have that, and they all should. All right, here's the setup here. I got a clean five gallon bucket. Got this electric pump. This is rated to pump gasoline. Some pumps are not. And I'm gonna be filling these five gallon cans with it. Always make sure you have more containers than you're gonna need. And check this out. This gas is coming out perfectly clean, but I have this filter here. This is meant for fuel, and see it's got a filter in it. So it automatically filters everything you're putting through it. And it supposedly separates out water too.
quick safety tip here. Whenever installing or removing a ex heavy part on a car, um, on this thing, it's not that's not heavy, and since this thing's pretty well balanced, it's fine. But for example, a gas tank out of a front wheel drive car could make the car want to fall frontwards off the lift. This thing's pretty balanced, you know, I could hang from that without that falling down. But if this was a car, put that lift up there. It's probably the fuel gauge. All right, that's everything off of it. All right, so here's our problem here. This is called the uh, fuel sending unit. It's got the fuel pump built into it. And it's got two lines on it. One's the outlet and one's the return. And since it was made out of steel, it rusted out in uh, less than 20 years. Let's uh, fix this. And there's the unit. So what this this is the fuel pump right here. Oh no. Alright, All right, so we're at the point now that we need this thing because uh what happened here, these steel lines rotted out and they are part of the sending unit. They can't be changed. This part is available. But instead of just, anyone could just slap a new one of these in there. I wanna actually fix this instead. So, and when I fix it, I don't wanna use these steel lines because uh, the steel lines are too dangerous. They rust out way too quickly. So we're gonna be using these nickel copper lines instead. These never rust. Um, really the car should have just came with that from the factory. They should recall all these cars, but so, but let's uh, at least get this one fixed. So, um, you can see the steel line that they sell. This is what they sell at the auto parts store. The factory steel lines in cars generally get maybe 15 years out of them. This stuff, you can see the magnet sticks to it. I've seen this stuff rust out in as little as two years. That stuff is just garbage. You can see here it's still magnet sticks to it. That's how you know it's no good. This stuff here, Magnet doesn't stick to it at all. So that's a good line. All right, let's get this fixed.
All right, just in case to seal this up a little better. This stuff works really well. Actually, my first car ever, the same thing happened to it. And I don't think I had any money or couldn't find the part. Probably both. <laughs> and all I did was just like cover the whole thing and JV weld and just surround it all. And that, it was fine for years after doing that. All right, here it is the next day, so you can see that stuff dried. That'll be fine, that stuff works really well. Plus it's soldered too. So the idea here is that these lines will last forever. You know, I don't wanna be changing this again in another 15 or 20 years, like with these steel lines. You can see how bad these rusted out for no reason. All right, let's get this installed in the car. All right, this is where we're at here. This disconnect thing, I pulled that off. I couldn't get that to stay on this line. Then I was just trying to slip the line itself over, but it's kind of too small. I think what I gotta do is just change out this whole line. It goes right here to this fuel filter. All right, this fuel filter here, this looks like this broke right here, pulling that line off, so. Let's just put a new filter in it. I've been trying to get this apart for too long now. All right, so this is why we're changing this right here. See how that broke there? Plus, I should just get a new filter anyway. And this line, this is rated for fuel injection because the, the pressure from fuel injection is higher.
All right, so I've actually been driving this car a while now since I fixed it, and uh, that's definitely fixed. I'm glad I took the time to do that right and put those uh, copper nickel lines on there because they will never rust out. The steel lines, they seem to rust out in around you know 15 years or so. They start blowing out the brake lines and everything. The copper ones, they just go forever. So uh, really, that should that's how the car, you know, the car wouldn't have even broken in the first place if it was had just came from the factory with those copper nickel lines or stainless steel. It was tempting to just buy a new sending unit, but you know, in some cases you can't get that part for a lot of vehicles. You know, it'll be like a dealer item and it might, depending on the car, sometimes you can't get that part. So that was good to show how to fix it. All right, so the next project I wanna do, uh, one of my friends, she keeps having to borrow cars to tow her jet ski. So let's put a hitch on her car so she can tow it herself. Right, Levi, you wanna put a hitch on something? this tree in the road right here. Yeah, just so I can send it. room to stand it up in there. They wanted this carriage bolt to be up in here, but there's there's not enough room to stand it down to stand it to get it in this thing, so same hardware, but I'm just gonna put the nut. Instead, yeah, I just put it that way instead. Of that actually works. So there's some spacers that go there, and there's a U-bolt that goes right here. Sure, you can flip it either way. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do yeah. it. It's so much easier than the way they had it in the instructions. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I don't know what's, what's up with that, but that looked pretty impossible. Cool. Bird sounds yay. Trailer adapter in. Alright, now this kit it comes with these things, but don't use these.
Are my taillights off? Now they are. Okay. thing here but see obviously that's too short so they gave me this extension cable okay so we'll plug and that then in. I can just, like, plug that in yeah so this will go right here and then just whenever you're towing your trailer just come right out the trunk you know don't slam it right in the lot let's just put it like out right here and that okay. should reach your tr jet ski fine cool all right you're all set to tow yay Left turn, right turn, brakes, yeah, they're working. Okay. Right, let's put it in the water. She won't need to borrow vehicles to tow her jet ski around.
Easy.